Hello, I'm Oscar with the Salford University Career Service. Over the next four presentations, we're going to be talking about how to prepare yourself for an interview following a job application, including the different types of interview you may be invited to, the different types of interview questions you may be asked and the techniques to successfully respond to these, how to prepare yourself ahead of the interview, and what to do on the interview day. First, we're going to be talking about how to prepare for the different types of interviews that you may be faced with when applying for jobs and what to expect in each of them. There are five main types of interview you're likely to face. A one-to-one, -one, where you'll chat to a hiring manager in person, most likely including an informal chat. A panel interview, where you'll chat to a number of hiring managers and potentially other members of the team you'll be joining if you get the job. A phone interview, where you'll chat to a hiring manager over the phone. A video interview, where you'll use a video communication service to speak to a hiring manager. And a group interview, in which you and multiple other candidates will be interviewed together. No two interviews will be exactly the same. However, you can expect them to follow this general format. First, the interviewer or interviewers will introduce themselves. Questions will then be posed to the interviewee to answer. And finally, the interviewee will be able to ask their own questions to be answered by the interviewers. The only interview type that may differ from this structure is the group interview, which will be explained in more detail later. For now, let's look at the two types of video interviews, a common occurrence in a workplace where digital work is becoming more important and reliable. There are two types of video interview. Live, in which you are similar to a face-to-face -face meeting with an interviewer, only online with cameras. And pre-recorded, in which you'll be given questions on your screen and you will have a limited amount of time to record a response. For some positions, there may be no limit on your time for a response and may allow multiple attempts to record an answer. To prepare yourself for a video interview, consider these key tips. Manage your surroundings. Choose a quiet place with as little visual and audio background noise as possible. Prevent interruptions. Switch off your phone, TV, radio, etc. Ensure that nothing is going to distract you and break your focus. Dress appropriately. Just like in a face-to-face -face interview, you want to look smart, but not too overdressed. Think about where you're applying to and consider what their employees might wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Check your internet connection. Losing connection during your interview could eat into your hiring manager's time, cutting your interview short. Perfect your body language. Keep good posture and keep your eye on the camera, not on the screen. And finally, practice, practice, practice. Ensure that you have good examples to use as answers to specific questions. However, make sure you're not trying to perfect a script, at which point you can run the risk of sounding robotic or worse, forgetting the script can end poorly when you run out of things to talk about. Now let's take a look at group interviews. A group interview allows an employer to get a sense for how well you work with others. Following an icebreaker in which you will get to know the other candidates, you will usually be faced with a variety of activities, which may include questions for the group, case study scenarios, articles to discuss, general teamwork activities, which may not always be related to the role, and role-playing the actual job. Let's go over some key tips for performing well in a group interview. Take some time to fully understand the task. Don't rush into developing ideas that aren't relevant. Show leadership, but don't micromanage. Remember, proper leadership isn't about bossing people around while not doing any work. Listen to others. Communicating with your fellow candidates is key to what the employer is looking for. Don't be quick to dismiss ideas. Respect the group's input and be open-minded. Be aware of time. Being able to manage your time in activities like this is vital. Encourage team members to take part. Showing that you can include everyone will look great to the employers. Prepare some common icebreaker responses. Perhaps consider an interesting fact that's relevant to the job. Remember, everyone else in the room is interested in the same job you are, so they should be able to relate to things relevant to the job. In conclusion, make sure to understand the type of interview you're going to be facing ahead of preparation. Understanding how an assessment is going to be presented to you is just as important as understanding what you're going to present within it. 
Speaking of what you're going to present, in our next presentation, we'll talk about the different types of interview questions you're going to be faced with in an interview, and what kind of answer an employer is expecting to these kind of questions.